Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. We are in the midst of a catch up week or it's like catch up week and a half is really how it's broken down at this point. Like I've looked at my videos. It's gonna be about a week and a half of videos until we're like back on track with everything. We're almost there, we're like halfway there now. I am actually filming this well ahead because I feel like there's updates that I want to do before some project pan updates go live. This is basically a catch up for April and May's no pan left behind challenge that I've been doing on this channel. Really, it's a way to hold myself accountable and try to touch as many eyeshadows as humanly possible, trying to touch my whole collection. And I just rewatched some of my footage from March and man, I in that I go, I need to calm down with eyeshadows. And I did really good in April and in May, but June, man, is a doozy. So you'll have to stay around for some other videos that are coming, but I just kind of wanted to get this ironed out so some other videos can go up and there's no spoilers for things. We're just gonna dive into this video and I did look at my last video so I kind of understood the like how I was structuring these before because it's been it's been a minute. Um, also, my hair will go back to having purple in it probably in, in the next couple videos and but this is my hair as of July. So um, there's some videos filmed well before I had the big chop. And I'm gonna be looking down this way because I have my iPad that has all of my information on it. so, I'm not being rude. I'm just trying to get all my facts straight. How I arrange my palettes is any grouping of shadows. So every palette is its own like grouping. And then like my storage palette is its own grouping. My Cleona singles are their own grouping. And then I have a grouping that has potted singles. All of that's going to come into play in my percentages. So I just wanted to let you guys know that before we kind of dive dove into the recap. In January, I had 629 different eyeshadows, and of those, I ended up touching and using 158 different shades, which was 25% of my collection. I feel like that is a substantial amount of shades touched, and actually, um, looking at all of my numbers and how I've been doing recently, that is by far my most substantial month of usage. So, really proud of that. I had 43 palettes as a whole, or like those groupings that I mentioned. Um, I had 43 that I could touch, and I ended up, I finished No Pan Left Behind on six of those palettes, which was right under 14%, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, I'm not going to go over the palettes, but I've probably listed them in this area for you as well. In February, I ended up having 636 total eyeshadows. My number of palettes stayed the same, so there is that at least. I ended up using 133 different shades within the month of February. That was 22% of the shades I ended up touching in some capacity. That brings our total of different shades that I could have used to 249 which was 39% of my collection. So really happy on that. I ended up completing No Pan Left Behind on four additional palettes. Again, that's gonna be right over here as well. So that was 10 palettes um, as of February have been No Pan Left Behind, which is fantastic. Then we jump over to March and I still had the same number of shadows and palettes, so that was good. But I ended up using 129 different shades within the month of March. Um, I only did No Pan Left Behind on three palettes, but that was mostly because I was focused on my single eyeshadows and any green. That was my month of greens. And I loved, I loved my makeup in my month of greens. That was like my favorite month. I feel like I just need to theme every month into like a shade and like do it that way, but I I don't know. I ended up touching again 129 different shades of eyeshadow in my collection. That was 20% of shades I ended up touching, which is always makes me feel good. And the total number of shades used is 328. So I officially went over 50% as of March. That was a big like, mm -mm -mm. yes, yes, yes. I was very excited about that. Now we jump into more of the updates that you guys don't know. So. We're going to talk about April 1st. We're just doing this chronologically. So all of my April information. Now I'm not pulling my palettes out because there are spoilers. I'll end up putting footage from my palette tour in so you guys know the shades, like the palettes that I used. So there is that. 
Um, so I ended up having the same number of palettes and eyeshadows as I had the previous couple months. I was good. I haven't like fiddled and done anything naughty as of April. So there is that. But I ended up having those pretty for your face shades come into my collection in March or April. I don't quite remember when they arrived or when I put them in here, but my numbers all reflect accurately. I like count everything every single month to make sure my numbers are right. But I ended up using 103 different shades within the month of April. That was a little over 16% of my collection. So still like doing okay. Definitely my worst month so far of usage. Like barely hit 100. And every other month I was well over 100 shades. Definitely not my best month. But that's okay. Like it's all ebbs and flows. So there's that. Um, within 2023, so far of April, I used 388 or 61% of my shades. I ended up no pan left behinding four different palettes within the month, bringing my total number of palettes, no pan left behind to 17%, which is always good. Very happy about that. So I definitely wanted to reach for a lot of pastel palettes within April, which I didn't get to. Like there were palettes... I just watched that update and I was like, man, I did not get to any of the shades that I wanted or the pans that I wanted to, but it's okay. I made a lot of focus in other areas of my projects and palettes, so it's it's fine. It's totally fine. I am just going to go over my May info with you guys. I ended up decluttering like a little over 40. I think it was 41 shades. So my total number of eyeshadows went down for the month of May which I was very happy about. My total number of palettes went down because I decluttered two whole palettes. So I ended up having 609 total shades of eyeshadow split between 41 different palettes within my collection. Now I ended up doing my absolute worst so far this year in May. I only touched 62 shades, uh, but that was 10% of my collection. So at least there's that. At least there's that. I had a rough month, but I ended up using a total of 384 different shades. So the number of total shades used dropped down a bit, but my percentage actually went up a bit from the months because I decluttered palettes and then used a bunch of other shades. So it all like evens out somehow. Now, I ended up no pan left behinding only one palette within the month of May. So it brought my total to 18 palettes or right now about 40% of my collection. I have no pan left behind. So that makes me really excited. <laughs> I'm gonna scooch back over so we can just kind of go over a couple other details. I'm gonna quickly just go over my like bullet journal spread so you guys can see like the number of colors grow on that little like board, that little spread that I'm doing and like it's an electronic bullet journal is essentially what I'm doing. So I've been color coordinating, like writing my, um, like scribbling the colors of the different things that I've used in the different months. And then I've like been like putting my tracking for my pans on there too. So there is the recap of the progress that I've made. Cool. So any other information that I normally talk about the, in these videos, which is typically like my recap on the palettes that I used and then like the thoughts uh, and goals that I'm going to have for the next month. Since I'm already in the month of July and I haven't yet updated my June's pan, no pan left behind, um, we're gonna just skip that. We're gonna just skip that, but you'll have to stay tuned for a couple days from now when I do post my June no pan left behind. I wanted to split these up so I could go over a lot more information in these videos, um, but hopefully it was not too rushed I would love to know if you guys are tracking your palette usage, your like eyeshadow usage and trying to touch everything that you possibly can this year. How are you feeling successful in rotating through your collection? I would love to know tips and tricks. I sometimes struggle. I would love to know your tips and tricks. Would you like to know my tips and tricks? I would love to know that as well. If you guys want to know, I'm happy to film anything like that. Just let me know. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in the next video which will be something in catch up week again someone i just read a comment that someone thought i was saying catch up like the condiment and not catch up but i don't know how to enunciate catch up more <laughs>
<laughs> maybe it's just my midwestern accent who knows but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're staying healthy sane and safe and i will catch you in the next video bye